All right, people, you have spoken. And with that, we are using Cyber Angels on Monday. All right, so hopefully I do okay with this deck. Uh, looks like this guy is playing some Monarch, so that should be fun. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to do some shenanigans. I didn't open up too hot either. Like, this is probably one of the worst starters that I've uh, gotten with this deck. Uh, you see that our ratio, you're probably looking at it you're like, that's a thick ass deck, Dan. You're like, what's up? Uh, I, I really want to try Potty Cupidity. I want to try it, you know. We could probably pull up some good combos and stuff like that. So I guess I'll go ahead and grab my Cyber Angel Ritual. And I can always discard a spell card, add a ritual, light ritual monster, or a ritual spell card from your deck to hand. So I could push the Twin Twister, or her, uh, or this. You know, there's a, there's a couple of cards that we could pitch, but I think for now, I'll just go ahead and take it slow. I have a feeling that we're dueling against Monarchs, and if we're dueling against Monarchs, then yay, Monarchs. You know, <laughs> it's just like, it's just like, how do you feel <laughs> playing Monarchs? Like, I hate, I don't like Monarchs. Oh, oh. Never mind, there might be something dirty. Magical Mallet, take the nag for a Magical Mallet? Mmm, mmm, we'll find out. Anyway, I guess I'll just go ahead and talk about uh, the struggles that I am currently facing. Can I pitch yourself? I might go ahead and just pitch yourself. <laughs> okay, go ahead and activate this. I'm going to activate my Ritual Sanctuary. Uh, discard a spell card, add a light ritual monster or a ritual spell card from your deck of your hand to a pretty, pretty good field spell. I don't say so. I don't need multiples, so I'll go ahead and pitch you. And uh, which one's the one that when it's ritual summon, I get to go ahead and add a ritual spell. That's that's Idaton. And then we got Ben 10. If this card destroyed, if I can damage to your opponent, this card is attributed, I can add a light fairy. So it'd be nice if I could get both of these. Do you have some kind of effect? Uh, ritual summons this card is ritual summoned. You can make your opponent send one monster they control in the graveyard. Well, they don't have any. This card attack. If a ritual monster you control attacks, defensive monster if it does damage. Once per turn during your end phase, you can target one ritual monster or one ritual in your graveyard as your hand. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. So I can go ahead and give me Ben 10. Then I can do this. Tribute you two. Summon uh, Dakini. Donkey? Is that, that that's her name? I think I feel like I'm saying it wrong. Should be summon you two, and then summon Donkey, and then Donkey will give me my Ben 10 during the end phase, and Ben 10 is gonna search me when I just tribute it right now for the ritual summon. So uh, we got we got some plays. We got some plays. I, I see you. I see you, Dad. So we're running more than 40 uh, cards. We're running the Potty Cupidity because there's multiple cards at three. Uh, me and Renny were actually discussing it. Like, when's a good time to actually play Potty Cupidity? And uh, it was actually on my Capital G's uh, channel video and people discussing the comment section. Pretty much if you're running a deck that uh, runs multiple of cards and doesn't really worry about the combo pieces, I mean, has multiple combo pieces, then you can run it, you know? And this deck, there's pretty much triple of everything. So I think Cloud of Capiti getting a little bit deeper into the deck is totally good. So what am I ritual summoning? I want to summon Donkey by tributing you and you. Summon Donkey, then Ben 10 will go ahead and search me. Should be all good. Like I, said, I don't know what my opponent is playing here. I probably won't like it, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, right. I can just search for any light monster. So I can search for Manju, summon Manju, because I have a normal summon this turn, and get another search. Like, it's all good. Or Cyber Angel. It really doesn't. I mean, Petite Cyber Angel and Manju, they're all the same thing. Really, for this deck, it's all the same thing. So we'll go ahead and summon that Manju, get that search on. Like, like this deck, this deck, is, I could probably say that this deck might be like the second best ritual deck next to. Um, next to Necros. I mean, Necros, they just plus like crazy good, but this, I mean, I, I could potentially see some crazy shit. Uh, I can get either 10. This card's ritual summon from your hand. Make sure it's one from your hand, deck or graveyard. Yeah, I'll go ahead and get either 10. Like I said, I don't know what my opponent is playing here. Took the neg on Magical Mallet. I'm assuming that this might be like a Threatening Roar or something. Threatening Roar? I feel like it's something sacky. How much should I attack with the donkey first? Dunning Roar, something like that? Something along those lines? No? Oh, okay. I guess I'm fine with that then. Um, I am done. Go ahead and activate her during the end phase. And I'll go ahead and grab my machine ritual straight back. Oh, it's Destiny Board. That's cute. 
So I guess he, I guess with that new Destiny board card, he's trying it out. Like, I guess. <laughs> like, you know, I got Twin Twisters. So I was thinking that someone was gonna try it with that new uh, Dank, Dank, whatever. At least I know that he's playing freaking Destiny board. It's like, all right. Nah, I don't want you to do idea idos, none of that shit. Like, just die. Uranus and shit? Like, alright. Magical Mallet, take the nag again, that's fine. Shuffle your whole hand back. Maybe draw into a Battle Fader or Swiss Scarecrow. Uh, I kind of have a feeling you're gonna pat out of resources. And if this is what you're relying on, I got the Twin Twister, I'll fuck you up. Yep, yep, you're just gonna go ahead and scoop because, I mean, even with that trap, that, uh, that, and that trap card, that, uh, field spell, it's kind of just. I mean, I still pop your destiny board, you're still done. The field spot doesn't protect from me destroying your destiny board, so. Alright, we'll get another duel. Bear back. So, uh, I am pretty much done with my final community college classes, my college of Southern Indiana classes, and, uh, now I can just focus on my classes at, uh, at National, so that is great. And with that, uh, we have probably one of the more difficult things that I gotta deal with. And that being said, it is trying to figure out how I'm going to get these uh, field observation hours done. So, uh, the, I'm only in this class for one month. I'm in this class for one fucking month. And with being in this class for one fucking month, my teacher wants me to get done with 10 hours of field observation. Which is all fine and dandy. You know, go to an entire classroom and, you know, observe some teachers teaching for 10 hours. That's, that's, fine. that's fine. The problem is, is of course... There's, it's not official, and there's no clearance. Like unofficial observation is pretty much the, the 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 situation that I'm placed in, where I have to get inside a class and you, but I need a, you know, you need background check. You need, there's a lot of shit that has to be done for you to just hop into a class. You can't just hop into a class and be like, all right, I'm here. Like it doesn't work like that. And I'm really struggling, and this class is only a month fucking long. It's a, it's a huge problem. That the class is only a month fucking long. Uh, <laughs> Because since the, the class is only a month fucking long, I gotta get this shit done, and I don't have time to get a background check, you know? So I called up my high school, and I was like, hey, uh, do you think I can go ahead and do this? And they're like, well, uh, call this place. They go ahead and uh, set you up with the Clark County School District and shit like that. So I called them, and they're like, okay, well, uh, your college is supposed to, for official, uh, the your college is supposed to hit us up, and then you'll do all that shit. And then I'm like, it's not official. My teacher just said, get it done. Like, it's not through the school. It's just get it done. So because it's not official, I can't go through the Clark County School District. Called back my high school. And they were like, oh, well, it's like the last 14 days of school. And we're so busy that, uh, no, no, we're not going to allow you to do that. We're not, we're not for that. So therefore, I'm kind of fucked, correct? Like, I, I'm just fucked. This guy over here is just sitting there pl milling and playing with himself. Because, I mean, there's just so many fucking mill cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! That it's not even funny. Yeah, go ahead and go into Bills with Minerva and Dante and Mill and, and Level Weed and Mill. And just like, uh, like, I would like a turn. I would love a turn. You're already down to 13 fucking cards in your deck. I haven't even took a turn yet. Like, nigga. <laughs> like, Negus. <laughs> Yeah, go into Formula Synchron, draw a card, why not? I mean, for goodness sakes, that glow ball, he could have, and he had two level fours, he could have trished me, I thought he was. No, 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 he's not done. Definitely not done. So you shitting me, so you tell me he only milled one Mally. Out of all the cards he milled, he got up both the Mally effects? Alright, alright, alright. Done? Can I take a turn? Like, I would love to go ahead and play in this duel. I mean, it helped me talk, but goddamn. Like, goddamn, look at that field. Look at that field. It's amazing. All right. Go ahead and play terraforming. So we are running the heretics because, of course, when they're tributed, you go ahead and get the search, which is great. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and ritual summon Ida 10 and tribute uh, Sue. So first, I need to go ahead and give my rituals card. So let me go ahead and summon Manju. Manju, go ahead and search me for my... Uh, my machine angel ritual. I'm not getting my pre prep for my Sophia and shit like that. Like that, that'd be pretty power. All right, go ahead and play this. I will be summoning my Idaten by tributing the Sue. Idaten will get me a search. Sue will then uh, 
he was tributed, so I get to go ahead and summon my Labradorite. That is all good. This is just, just straight getting some resources right there. Because I had to deal with all of this. Like, that should be fun. That should be fun. Uh, Minera will probably go ahead and pop me. So, that won't be fun. I guess I'll go ahead and get another Machine Angel Ritual card. And I will go ahead and summon the Labradite. Then I could go into M7, M7, Detach, I to 10, Get Back, I to 10. No, no, <laughs> no, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good. Well, I guess, I guess. Or Ben 10. I could go into Ultimaya. Could go into Ultimaya, set a card, summon, go into M7. Trying to think what I want to do right now. There's a lot of plays I could do right now. I guess I could play Sanctuary and then activate Sanctuary, pitch Sanctuary, get me a uh, play Sanctuary, pitch Sanctuary, get me. I guess another Idaten. Either another, either Idaten or Ben Ten. Like, it really doesn't matter. Because I don't think I'm be tributing because I can go ahead and I can go into M7, detach, get back Ida 10, ritual summon Ida 10 by sending Ben 10 summon. No, no, because I want to get my Herotic back, which means that I want to grab another Ida 10. Because I can go into M7 right now. Like this, this, this is this is gonna be some difficult shit to deal with. Like, this man just went fucking off and summoned everything to the table. So I gotta kind of clear up this fucking field while still doing plays. So we'll go ahead and, uh, I don't need the Ida 10 right now. The Labradite. I'm running two Labradite just to make sure. Uh, we'll go ahead and return the monster in my graveyard back to my hand so I'll get my Sue back. Like, I'm, I'm running Dakini, but Dakini is... Uh, it kind of doesn't have a lot of synergy with the deck being level 8, you know? Like, that's definitely a problem you can face. So we'll go ahead and Ritual Summon again. We'll summon the Ida 10 by attributing that Sue once again. Sue, Ida 10. I, I could go for another, uh... Like I said, I, I can... Sephira is just not doing anything. Like, it's just easier just to go ahead and keep on getting my, uh, my machine rituals. <laughs> like, I need that pre-prep. I need that pre-prep. I mean, that Labradite from the deck. Just keep deck running. Alright, down under 40. So, I could go into Ultimaya to Zulkin, And then set, and then Ultimaya summon... I don't even know if Ultimaya can summon. I could summon... There's only one tack position monster, so that wouldn't be right. Scar right wouldn't be right. I can go into another M7, and the M7 can put back the Beals, and then I can attack over U2. But then he would just sink 8 with U2. Like, Dante, I'm not sure, is a threat. Mirira, I probably want gone, and I could just block because it blocks all light monsters, right? The light monster you control will be destroyed by battle by card effect. So when Mirira tries to go off, if he mills light swords. So I think, I think going into a second M7. You know what the real suck thing is? Is that he can still use Formula Synchron and then sync immediately into another Beals. Like, that would suck. That would suck. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go ahead and use you. Attach the Ida 10. Turn the monster in the field back to the hand. And then he could just be like, oh no, he can't go into Beals because Formula's light. So he can't go into another Beals. But he can go into a Sync 8 that I probably don't want to see. Probably. Yeah, that would not be great. Yeah, I'm just going to battle phase, and then he'll be like, during the end phase, during your end phase, your main phase one. I'm no, he's gonna let me. Can you go off during the battle phase? No, it's just your opponent. Well, I timed out. Wow, I was going to attack him. Mm. Uh, wow. Uh, uh, this deck, this deck does too many plays <laughs> to the point where it's like, oh, I ran out of time. Like I, I, I clearly did everything. I was gonna attack, but Wedge Pro's like, nah, fuck you. Like you see all the shit that he did, but then me. I mean, fuck me, huh? Is that how it is? Fuck me. 
I was like, I was like, wow, he didn't activate his defect. He didn't sync or something. I was gonna attack you. I was gonna attack you. I didn't really. Oh, I don't think he had another plague, but he might have another plague. Oh, I can attack you with Maui. Like, and the only thing he left was a Dante. Like, I, I, wow. Like, I would've been able to do. I did something. It's just ran out of time. So awesome. I guess I'll get another duel. Be right back. All right. Pay attention to the time more this time, cause that that was bad. That was that was totally my B. Totally my B. I was like, oh yeah, let me just go ahead and, and go off and do all my plays and then not even pay attention to the fucking time. Like, no. <laughs> that was bad. That was bad and I should feel bad. So I'll go ahead and get my machine ritual. I got two I the 10s, which means that uh, that's some pretty powerful plays. I'll go ahead and put a pot of cupidity, bench top 10, draw two. Ooh, I got a sending soul, so I can go ahead and grab my shit back. Uh, we got pre prep. Which, I'm assuming I went ahead and banished everything that I need for pre-prep, right? Blessing of the Hymn. Yep, banished my two Blessing of the Hymn. Ah, ah, I run two, two Blessing of the Hymn, my Labradite. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, he's just in Surrender anyway, but that was a terrible pot. That was probably the worst pot of cupidity ever. Like, not only did I banish my fucking Labradite, but I also banished my fucking Light of the Hymns, which means that I can't even do my pre-prep. Like, mmm, 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 alright. Oh, oh, get another duel. Be right back. Alright, got my opponent scooped, cuz <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> that was actually terrible. I was like, wow, pre prep and banish everything that I wanted. I'm like, alright, cool, cool. Anyway, so, oh my god, no, not my specters. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> my specters are still just evil. <laughs> like, they are some evil son of a bitches. With Ignites? Like, is that even necessary? Like, I guess that's your Pendulum-based engine, is Ignites? But, I don't even think that's, I don't even think that's necessary. Like, oh no. <laughs> oh no. So, what I'm planning on doing, since my high school said no and I have no way, uh, I'm probably, I'm pretty much going to try to bypass my school. It's not the first time that I've snuck into my high school, visiting my teachers, been like, hey, what's up, you know? So, pretty much what I'm going to try to do on Monday, today, uh, Probably by the time you're seeing this video, either I'll be home from my exploits or still going along with my shenanigan. Uh, visiting my math teachers that uh, that loved me so much when I was a student and being like, you know, hey, what's up, been a while, uh, can you do me a huge favor? Uh, what I need is to pretty much observe you, sign this paper saying that I observe you. Like, I could, like, it's not official and the teacher's not, it's not like the teacher's gonna check, so I really could just be like, uh, you know, cheat the system. But I don't want to do that, you know, I actually want to... I'll take the time. Uh, should we try it? Should we try the fucking pot of cupidity, people? Do we try it? Let's go ahead and try it. Fuck it, let's try it. Let's tap 10, draw 2. Alright, we'll be banished. Alright, that's bad, that's bad. Uh, I don't need, probably don't need that anymore. I can't even play this anymore, so that's fine. Ascending uh, Soul, I 10, the Twin Twister, it's my sanctuaries. So, I guess my terraforming my hand is dead, because here are my two sanctuaries, a pot of cupidity. Oh, so two solemn strikes, and my warning, like, Still not liking Pot of Cupidity. Still not liking it. Well, I guess the best I can do is play my Light Sanctuary and then go ahead and piss this dead terraforming, right? Right. Right. <laughs> Sucks that I got, like, no heretics. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what in the fuck? I got no heretics, so that sucks. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and get... I'm pretty decent right now. I guess I'll go ahead and get one of you. So, we'll go ahead and fight him. I, I seriously doubt that I'm going to get all these plays off. I mean, for goodness fucking sakes, he has he has uh, the, the unicorn, so I'm going to get bounced. But I might as well just do all the plays that I can, right? Right? So, I guess we'll go ahead and summon, get Nanju, and then search it up. Like, we're going to be, we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. I, I said, I might as well do as much as I possibly can. I wish I had a way to crack his pendulum scales, but... I don't think that's going to be possible. Go ahead and give me Ben 10 again. And we will go ahead and ritual summon I to 10, getting rid of Ben 10. Search, search. Like, like these, these cards, there's some fucking power. Like, these rituals, this is how you want to do that ritual mechanic. Get that. And I guess. Oh, Ben 10 can just keep grabbing Ben 10. I didn't know Ben 10 can grab Ben 10. Uh, that's fair. Ben 10 grab Ben 10, ritual summon Ben 10 by tributing out of 10, and then keep on ritual summoning. Like, that's fucking power. Just really wish I would have got even one heretic. Like, I didn't get any of them. Like, that sucks. 
Uh, I can go into Photon Strike Bouncer, and then negate him. Go into Photon Strike Bouncer when Unicorn tries to touch me. It's just, I have nothing to crack his fucking skills. So you can just pendulum some of them right back. Like, that's the pendulum mechanic for you, right? Right? <laughs> uh, go ahead and do it one more time. I'm gonna summon I to 10, getting rid of Ben 10. Search, search. Like, this deck has some fucking power. If I wasn't going against a fucking pendulum based deck with fucking. It's fucking, uh, what's on the other side of the rainbow over there, I'd probably be okay. So go ahead and grab this, since I do have the Sephira, so if I really wanted to, I could Ritual Summon again. Contribute the freaking Manju in my hand, and the Manju on the field, the Petite Angel in my hand, or something like that. Like, I could go ahead, go ahead and summon that one more time. <laughs> Ritual Summon one more time, I have a whole crap ton of sixes. I'm in Sephira one more time. You and you. So I'm just doing places to do places at this point. So I could fuck up his whole field. I could fuck up his whole field. But what would be the point? You know what? You know what? I got an idea. I'm going to attack with everybody. He's going to bounce whoever. I don't care. Everybody's going to attack. Then main phase two, as long as this card's not anything, I can go into Gauntlet and crack his scales, right? I can go into Salad Shooter. Try to target one. Nope. Target one monster. God damn it. Uh, is there any, I don't think there's any, like, rank fucking six that I can do. Oh, I could have went into him, and then detached and summoned. Like, uh, it sucks. Oh, I'm about to run out of time anyway, so everybody might as well attack, right? Everybody attack. Yep, of course, fucking unicorn. Yep. I, had, I wish I had something to crack his fucking pendulum scales, but I don't. Fucking Idaton is weak, too, so... And I don't, so. Ah, uh, there's nothing good here. Nope, nope, I'm just gonna go ahead and start hit the surrender button. I have nothing, I have nothing. The fucking pendulum mechanic with fucking Unicorn, like, I wish Unicorn would get hit. Like, Unicorn is such a powerful fucking pendulum monster. You just throw it in the pendulum deck and it's just like, ah! Fucking invincible ass monster you can't touch and I bounce shit? Like, alright, alright. Alright, I'll uh, get one more duel in, bear back. Alright, another duel. Um, this guy said no pendulums, so that's fine. I'm not playing pendulums. I am totally fine with that, because holy crap, I was like, I don't want to face any pendulums. <laughs> I, I, it wasn't, it's not like I wasn't doing any plays, just, mm. So, I'm going to go ahead and visit my uh, Algebra 2 pre-calculus teacher. Uh, this is teachers I always visit. Like, the two teachers that I always visit when I visit high school, I'm going to go ahead and do those two. Uh, visit her, try to get my, my 10 hours done. Ooh. Relinquish, so we're both using a ritual based deck. Interesting. Interesting. Kinda wish I would have got me uh, some twin twisters up in this bitch, but. Because <laughs> twin twisters to pop some back row would be real nice. Or some fucking. Once again, I'm, I'm running like triple of the fucking uh, Pratics, both the level sixes, and the freaking ritual. I mean, the searcher. None. N no Pratics. No Pratics fucking anywhere. Like, this is, this is great. <laughs> This is awesome. I'm gonna have to make this. I can go ahead and summon my Manju. And then I guess I'll go ahead and search for Ben 10. And Ritual Summon. I'll summon Ida 10 by shooting Ben 10. Summon, search, search. Go ahead and search me for my Sheen Angel Ritual. And go ahead and search me for already normal summon, so I guess I can just go ahead and search for another Ben 10 or Ida 10. Like, I, I would love to do the Ultimaya plays, but I need the Herotic so I can go ahead and tribute to get the Labradite to then go into Ultimaya. Like, the plays are there if I could just get the fucking Herotics. Like, holy crap. <laughs> like, is, I'm getting super unlucky in the fact that I'm not getting any fucking Herotics right now. And we'll go ahead and activate my Sanctuary, Pitching Sanctuary. To get me, uh, I already got Ida 10, so I'll get another Ben 10, start search. And I guess I could just go into like a Photon Strike Bouncer or something. Like, it's it's really all good. What's your field effect? Nothing. Oh, I right, search, and then discard tribute. I, all my monsters gain a thousand. I currently control gain a thousand attack and defense. Okay. Okay. 
So, you know, once again, go ahead and ritual summon. Go summon I to 10, getting rid of Ben 10. Summon, search, search. Like, you can see the powers. Just, <laughs> I have more powerful plays if I just open up with them. <laughs> so I would just fucking draw them. At least I could pro protect from destruction. That's nice. Uh, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and take a slow search me and Manju next turn. I have a feeling that he'll probably go ahead and summon his, uh, his, uh, his Relinquish next turn, so. Wish there was, like, a rank 6 that could pop back, bro. Like, this sucks. Like, I thought Salad Shooter could pop everything. Like, detach, pop a card, but nope, it's just pop a monster, so that sucks. Alright, Rippling Mirror Force, let's go. No? Okay. So, I'm not sure if his back rows are bluffs or he just didn't want to hit me with any of the back rows yet. So, I guess I'll just go into M7 with these two and uh, get something back. No, no. Uh, yeah. I want Ben 10 or Ida 10. I'll get Ida 10 back. Plays are pretty powerful, and I guess guy got a dragon's like, hey, me, but no. So that was a pretty decent, that's a pretty decent end phase. Like, look, like I start off with six, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I plus. It's just I would love to do the heroic plays. Like I definitely think the heroic plays definitely give this deck more oomph. All right, target one face up spell in the field. The controller is still the second under So I'm just gonna take 500. It doesn't negate my spell or anything. Like really, max the spell? Like holy shit, you you are the booty sometimes. Like what the fuck? That's not even a decent card. Like all right, that's not that. Relinquished. Yep. So relinquished. Go ahead and take my M7 and attack over my uh my Manju. You know, these are just bluffs. Like I, I thought they were maybe. Plus, because I would have definitely stopped some of the plays that I did if I had the actual back row. Uh, yeah. I'll go ahead and block to make that. I don't believe that I have any rank 4s, though, so that kind of. Nope. Could have put in like a Castell or something, but. <laughs> ah, yes! I can actually do some freaking heroic plays. All I freaking wanted. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. They're, they're, they're both the same. They are both the same, so go ahead and activate this. I'm a new, tributing you. So what can handle relinquished? I guess just attacking him. Like really. Uh, I guess I'll start searching for Sephira. New, go ahead and summon new Labradite. So just attack him, right? Attack him, he unequips, attack him again. So if someone a monster stronger, I can go into like crystal meth. Like crystal meth would be fan fucking tastic right now. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Do I have any more Ben Tens or am I out? One, two. I think I have one more Ben Ten. If I activate this, uh, search a light or ritual monster. I'm actually getting to the point where I can actually use this effect to summon. So if I get Ben 10, I get to add another light, or I can get Ike 10 and boost all my attack. All the ritual monsters currently on the field. I'm not sure if I have any ritual monsters, so I guess I'll go ahead and get Ben 10. I'm gonna get Sephira though. I'm gonna get Sephira. Summon Manchu, search for Sephira. Go into Ultimaya. Like, let, me, let me see if I can do this play. This would be the last duel. This would be the last duel. Uh, we'll go ahead and go into Ultimaya to Zulkin. Uh, Zulkin, set this, activate you. We'll go ahead and summon Crystal Meth. Summon Manju. Really should have put like a like a rank four in here. A couple of rank four shit, like Castell, Dweller, Emerald. Like I definitely should have put a I can go ahead and search for Sephira. Play him. Play him. Summon Sephira by tripping off Ben 10. Ben 10 will get me a search. Like, we're doing plays. Like, you cannot say that we're not doing fucking plays right now. I guess I'll go ahead and get me a Cyber Angel. Like, it's all good. It's all good. See, because I could have went to, like, Emerald right now. Emerald could have summoned me back my Labradite, or I could have put some of my cards back. Like, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, eight. I have eight. So I could, if I could, I could put these two into something XE, put two uh, back to summon a Cyber Angel from my deck, right? And it's kind of shuffle any deck, target a life fairy type. Oh, in your graveyard, two total levels. Yep. Yep, I was spiritual summoned all of these properly. I could have summoned them back. Made more plays, like, uh, that's fine. So, we'll just go ahead and have Crystal Mess attack. We'll both take the damage, you rip it off, you're back down to zero. Attack you. Attack, attack, game. Should be game anyway. Ah! Ah, Cyber Angel. Like I said, you, you get... You definitely should run the Herotics. You get the Herotics, you got the plays, but without them, the plays are just kind of meh, really, just kind of meh. So, uh, I don't know, I don't know. I'll probably end up trying to cut down the deck back down to 40 and cut out the Potiki Pitties. I'm not liking them, I just, I don't see the purpose of them. I really don't. Like, I can cut out the Potiki Pitties, I can cut out the Sephira, like, she's really just another Cyber Angel, so I could probably cut her out, like, I'd 10 and Ben 10 are fine. I'm even testing the deck out without even Dakini right now, because she's level 8, so, so I can take that out, I can take that out, I can take out the pre preps like, I could get this deck down to 40. I definitely think I could get this deck down to 40, and, uh, just play it like that, because right now it is not going so hot. <laughs> uh... The Potiki Pitties, I'm not liking it. I thought maybe I could try it OCG style, but I don't know. Maybe I just get unlucky. So we'll, we'll, when we come back next week on Monday, we'll just try to get the deck down to 40 and play it like that. Just 40, no Potiki Pitties. Like, fuck, fuck what the OCG is doing. We'll try it not that way. So, uh, yeah, hopefully my teachers say yes. I'll, you know, view my Algebra 2 trig slash pre-calc teacher for eight hours. Just unobserved. Just sign my paper. Go to my calculus teacher get down with my uh, five-page uh, journal about, you know, what I observed in the classroom and pretty much be done with the huge chunk of the, the chunk of that class. Uh, then I already did my resume. I already did two out of the four discussions. Just got to do the ten, uh, the two-page essay at the end of the class, and I'm done. Like, the class is that simple. It's only a month long. It's that simple. So I'm going to be uh, hopefully going down the same i'm still fairly young i'll be turning 22 next month in uh, on june 8th uh but you know besides my beard i'm not shaving my beard uh i'm not that tall so i'm only 5'8 so i can easily blend in high school i'll take a backpack walk in through the back door no one be even on the wiser and it's not it's been four years so it's literally since i've graduated no one in the school even the seniors that are going to graduate in 2016 recognize me they were eighth graders when i was a senior so no one will know me so it's not like someone will be like, hey, Daniel, what are you doing here? And then, you know, spot me, you know? No. So I'll just blend in, walk over to the teacher's room before school starts. It's not like I'm walking late. I'm going to, before school starts, walk over to my teacher's room and, you know, go ahead and ask her. I think she'll be fine, you know, as long as she'll be like, oh, well, no one's going to reserve me. And if anything, I could just simply sit down in a desk and blend in, you know? I'm just here to observe. It's unofficial and it really sucks that, you know, they just, the teacher just kind of throw me, threw me to the wolves like this and then fend on my own, like, and, and you know what the, you know what the scary and shit thing is? This class is in like June and July and August. Thank God I'm in May and I can actually do, they, he can actually make you take, you can take the class in like during the summer and then you can still, and you still have to get your field observation when school's not even in. It's like, all right, all right, that's, that's bullshit, but what you gonna do, right? Anyway, I'm done. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow with... At the current moment, I'm not sure. At the time that I'm recording this, the polls are still open. And I'm just waiting for the time when the polls are closed and then I can make the deck. So I'm making it one at a time. So I was like, definitely with making it is Cyber Angels. Cyber Angels are good. Make the deck. Make the deck. Pro, the deck. We'll go ahead and record with it. Have it all done and up for Monday. But as of right now, I'm not sure what tech decks are going to win what and what the rest of the deck of the week is. Uh, uh, by the time you see this, you could simply just click the link in the description and it'll tell you all the decks, but as of I'm recording this, I'm not sure. So, yeah, you guys will know before I do when it comes to this video. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, thanks for support, and, uh, yeah, see you guys tomorrow with more, uh, Daily Duels deck profile for, uh, for ninjas. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.